Hello everybody. I'd like to show you these uh, star, uh, Starship coils I've been working on about the last week. It's the first one I did. Uh, this is a 24 point um, star ship. This guy is a mind teasing, brain numbing, uh, torturous coil to do. What did he call this one? A 24 point offset by filer wound uh, star chalice coil <laughs> so pretty intense one uh, found this one on Mike Powers website I actually did two layers of what he shows so that it uh, turns into a nice cone otherwise it's kind of a, a dish anyway I'm using these with uh, the Bedini circuit uh, the simple schoolgirl circuit and it's uh, pretty cool what's going on. Uh, I wanted to show you the what's going on on the scope and how it's actually charging batteries. Um, this is a little jig I made for the uh, for this guy. 24 points evenly spaced, 15 degrees apart. This is the other one. Uh, 36 points, but you uh, skip every third one and. Uh, it's still based on 24 points, but uh, each separation is 10 degrees. So, that's how I made those guys. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and cut and get this thing set up. All right. I wanted to make a couple of notes before I started this thing up, uh, especially for the folks who want to play with a Bedini circuit. Um, a normal coil, you know, you... You start, you keep winding, you keep winding, and then you end. And you consider this beginning and the end of the of the deal, and you, you got to hook the circuit up in a certain way. Well, this coil, uh, because it's bifiler wound in the opposite direction, so you got to actually flip two of the leads. So you got to basically pair up one of these with one of these. Um, so if you find that you're plugging it in with this coil and it's not working, reverse two of the leads and it should work. Uh, this guy is, is wound just basically like this one. Uh, so it has a beginning and an end and I didn't have to flip that one. And we're, we're not running, we're not going to be running this one, we're just going to be running this coil. So I wanted to make that note. Oh, and also I'm using uh, about 300 ohms on the on the circuit to make this thing work. And uh, this there's about 180 feet of wire, or 160 feet of wire in this one, and about 220 feet in that one. And that's per wire length. So anyway, okay. All right, and of course here's my little poor bee that's dying on my table. It's been here all night. Poor little guy. Yeah. Anyway, it's been the little mascot of the evening. Thought I'd share that with you. <laughs> Alright. Okay, about ready to fire this thing up. I wanted to do a comparison for you on the oscilloscope, so I'm going to start this wheel here, the background, it's that two coiler I got going. I want to show you the signal it puts out. Okay. So you can see we're this will go down to one spike. We're basically on the uh, five millisecond scale right there, and that's the big wheel in the back, back there. That dude, that signal. Now I'm gonna turn uh, turn it to the other channel and turn this guy on. Back up so you can meters here okay let's 
so you can see that uh, we're drawing about you know 400 milliamps is the draw and power is going into the battery and here's the signal on that one so it looks like just some lines right but when we zoom in here start seeing that same H wave that we're looking for you can see we're getting in about a 50 uh, 55, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, about 55 volt spikes. And now I'm going to combine the two signals so you can see the difference. You know, um, just to show you the frequency comparatively, I mean, this, this coil is just slamming by, whereas here, you know, there's there's the scale difference. So this coil really goes fast, I must say. Um, let me zoom way in here. I don't know. If you can see this well or not, but this is quite the crazy wave going on here. So you can see it's just, just bouncing and then, you know, evening out. So it's really uh, swinging right in here. Kind of interesting. Anyway, this here setup. It's just this coil sitting here, self-oscillating. No magnets required. And it's doing a great job of, of charging batteries. I've been messing with this little 7 amp hour guy and put it through quite a few cycles and it's uh, working great. So um, basically that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, if anybody has any questions or comments, uh, feel free to let me know. And I hope you all enjoyed. Alright, see ya.